on my Sonic Cell tweaking video, I had a couple of folks ask me if I knew how to get it working on Windows 10. As the driver for Sonic Cell is only up until Windows 8.1, it's no longer working and there wasn't a direct way to install it. At the time, I didn't think about it that much as you can still patch the Sonic Cell via MIDI and that's how I used it. But I did notice how much the lack of a proper ASIO driver affected a lot of folks around the internet. I came across a lot of forum posts asking for the same thing. Is it possible to install the Sonic Cell driver on Windows 10? Short answer is no. And the long answer is this video of us diving into the driver installation configuration and editing it manually to see what happens. I'll be doing this video just for posterity as we're already on Windows 11 while writing this and I'm not 100% sure if this hack works on that. It should, in theory. Let me know in the comments if you tried it. The usual warning applies to this hack as we're about to modify a device driver. So if your computer crashes because of this and you lose work, Understand that you are taking the responsibility for this. I'm just showing you how to pork your machine, basically. So I found this article through a forum post. And in this article, there is this very tiny hack that is made to one of the files inside the driver package. And it's mentioned that this should also work on the Sonic cell as it uses the same driver. So let's do it. First up, turn your Sonic cell off. Then we'll head over to the Roland homepage and download the Windows 8 driver. We'll extract the contents of the zip file. And the first action is to uninstall any previous driver that might be in the system, just to be sure. Doing this now will save us time later in the process when we try to install our modded driver. And now for the actual hacking, go into files and 64 bit files again. And inside files, locate a file called rdif1070.inf. This is the file that we're going to modify. Open the file in a text editor and locate a row that says not supported. This is the placeholder for Windows 10, but by default it's disabled. So let's enable it. Copy the driver tags from the Windows 8 definition and paste them over the not supported line. Then save the file and close it. Now, by default, Windows will not let us install any drivers that have been tampered with, so we're going to reboot Windows into a special mode. Restart your computer, but press Shift while selecting Restart. This will give us the restart options. Select Troubleshoot, and in the Troubleshoot window, select Advanced Options. In the Advanced Options, select Startup Settings. This will reboot your machine and bring us to the Startup Settings screen. From here, select Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. Windows will now allow us to install our driver. Now in the Driver folder, Fire Up Setup, this will begin the installation process. Windows will alert you that you have tampered with the files and the certificate doesn't match. So select install this driver software anyway. The files are now copied and we're ready to install the driver. Boot up your Sonic cell and connect the USB cord to your computer. Windows will detect Sonic cell and activates the USB and the SEO drivers for it. Let's make sure everything is installed. Right click on the start icon and select device manager. Look under sound, video and game controllers and you should see Sonic Cell listed. You should also now have the ASIO driver activated. You can see it listed in the start menu. And there we go. Let me know in the comments if you got it working and if you had problems with the process, we'll try to sort it out. Hit the usual like and subscribe so YouTube will know that this video was any value to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.